Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. in Orlando, Florida, and we are getting ready for a resort day at Disney. Curry. LeBron James. Coke. Sorry you had to see that. Entering Disney World once again, uh, my favorite place in the world, as you all know. Uh, always good to see those gates. Feels like the first time again, man. And however, this time we're going exclusively to those resorts and to Disney Springs. And the first thing in order is getting some breakfast at Captain Cook's in Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. And it looks, feels, smells, and sounds like a Polynesian village, so they, they did that. No cap. Captain Cook's wait time was maybe six minutes. Uh, order came fairly quickly, so thank you for that very much. I've been watching Disney reviews for a long time, and they rave about the Tonga Toast, so I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm very excited, y'all. But first, we have this uh, rather malnourished piece of bacon. Uh, let's see, come on. Uh, Disney, man, it's rubbery, man. It's cold, it's rubbery. I'm gonna give it a three, man. It's flavorful, but come on, bruh. Now, what I've been waiting for is this Tonga Toast. I've been hearing about it for years. It's two slices of sourdough, battered, deep fried, and stuffed with bananas foster, which is caramelized banana. I can't wait, you can't wait. Let's get into it, man. I would like to hug whoever thought of this and give another hug to the chef, cause what? As a breakfast item, this is decadent. The crispy butteriness of the French toast in contrast with the bananas foster on the inside. Dude, all it's missing is strawberry soup. Five out of five, man. Am I that ugly? No, you know what? It's cool. I got another friend. <laughs> no, but seriously. Location is key in Disney resorts, and this one is a great location because you can see other resorts as well as Magic Kingdom if you look hard enough. And I'll be here in the future for sure. And now it's flick up time. So, you know, uh, I had to get right. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see the uh, Burberry shirt with the yes, sir. And now we are on the Skyliner, which is a relatively new form of transportation to and from select resorts in Disney. However, online it says that they are expanding in 2021. I'm just enjoying the view, honestly. And on your right, you can see the Art of Animation Resort. But the first time I ever stayed at Disney, it was at Pop Century Resort. So I had to go back in there and see if there were developments or anything. And I had to go to Fort Wilderness. Like, who goes to Disney without going to see Fort Wilderness? And of equal importance, I had to get some pictures at Bay Lake. So uh, if you'd excuse me. But yes, sir, a good burger with a SpongeBob bag with a popped collar, yes, sir. And now we are at Disney Springs, one of my favorite places in the entire world. And if you didn't know, Disney Springs is just a huge shopping district with a bunch of officially licensed Disney shops. And in addition, you have so many restaurants like Earl of Sandwich, Joffrey's, Steak, um, obviously Rainforest Cafe. And that's not even a quarter of them, there's just so many. And I haven't been in a Rainforest Cafe probably since 2002, so uh, uh, feeling a lot of feelings right now, all the feels. But I'm always impressed by the animatronics and the decor. This is always dope. And I'm gonna eat here later, I promise you. I promise I'm gonna eat here later. But right now, we're gonna be eating at Paddlefish, which is a three-story boat in Lake Buena Vista. And if you look close, you can see the Amphibicar, which you can ride for about $100. One blue strip. And right here, we have the crab fries, which is a bunch of blue crab on top of fries, garnished with chives and Louis sauce. And before you ask me, I have no idea what Louis sauce is. All right, here we go. First bite. Let's get it, man. Praying for the best. Hmm. Okay, you know what? It's good. Everything is fresh, but the Louis sauce throws it off a little bit because it's creamy and cold and tangy. Three out of five. And for this course, we have another culinary creation with claws called the lobster corn dog with sweet chili aioli on the side. And they did specify what the purple garnish is, so I'm not gonna speak on that. But I can't lie, it looks exactly like a corn dog. Perfectly golden brown. Sorry guys, I panicked and I took my first bite. <laughs> and it's delicious. The lobster is very fresh, you can tell. The coating, I think it's panko, is great. Uh, let's try it with the sauce. The sauce adds a sweet tang for sure. Um, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Uh, it, it meshed really well. Uh, and definitely get the sauce when you come. And now word around town is ganache we didn't reinvent it this more, so we know we gotta see what's up with that. I mean, it looked good, let's see, let's see how they come. Okay, so it's like a little factory. They're making it in my face. That's dope. And you got the, whoa. Oh, is it a marshmallow patty, bro? And he find it up too. I need it about as brown as me. That's how I like mine. There you go, lay it down, lay it down, yes sir. Oh, it's another piece of chocolate. Is he gonna burn it? Yup. This is, this is like an art. I can tell this is art. I really appreciate the time they put in. So a little more salt, yes sir. He's gonna bring it home, man. And a final stretch. Yes sir. Mm -hmm. Yep. Powder. Whoa, that's creative, man. That's super creative, bro. For real? Wow. Let's get straight into it. I'm not even about to do the introduction. I can't wait. You can't wait. We can't wait. 
Let's go. Wow, this is slightly heavy for a, uh, <laughs> for a s'more. By the way, the graham cracker is soft. This isn't the typical kind. So, let's... so without further ado, I am genuinely angry at how good this is. Five out of five, out of five, out of five. If I could give you 10, I would. Wait, my channel, 10. No cap, I've never had anything this rich in my life. And the salt makes it gourmet. Like, I have to take another bite to even process what just happened. Dude, that is how you s'more. Let me take a walk to calm down my body. We are at the T-Rex restaurant and gift store, and I just came to look at the dinosaurs, honestly. Actually, I wonder if they were that big or if they were larger than that. We got the woolly mammoth right there. I wonder if they got a sloth. Oh, there he goes right there. Now nah, we are at the Yasaki stand to try their steamed teriyaki chicken bun. And I've only had one other steamed bun and that was in China. So I'm very excited to try it again. It's been about five years. It's crazy how we can see art in food sometimes. And I really appreciate the time they took to create the aesthetic. That is absolutely delicious. You get the savory sweet of the teriyaki sauce with the chicken. This is a four out of five, only because the bun was a little much. It was good though. And now we're up in the sky at the Coca-Cola World rooftop bar to try a vanilla Russian, which is Stoli, Kahula, Coca-Cola, and whipped cream. And I'm not the biggest drinker, but I did want to try it because I've never seen this before anywhere else. And I know I look young, but I promise I'm of legal drinking age. Otherwise, I wouldn't do that on camera. Unfortunately, the Stoli liquor took away a lot of flavor from all the other components in the drink. Um, it's very bitter, and it's just not for me, personally. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2 out of 5. Um, that's me being nice. It had a little rain. Well, not really rain. I'd say a slight drizzle. Uh, but the sun is setting. It looks beautiful here. If I could live here, I would. And I tried to get footage of the volcano at Rainforest Cafe going off, but I missed it, and that is on me. <laughs> My apologies, guys. Appreciate you. See you on the next video.